Good afternoon, all of you. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, all of you can see the screen properly. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, let's start with the today's topic. Uh, that is uh, from yesterday. We have started uh, learning about the ERP. and yesterday we have discussed regarding the definition of erp the various characteristic of erp etc now today our point is regarding the evolution of the erp so all of you must be knowing what do you mean by the evolution like uh, in each field there used to be the evolution if you think about the human being human being also evolved from the different stages so you can think about the evolution is nothing but the step by step development in any case okay or step by step development in case of human or any technology or uh, in any other cases so that is nothing but the evolution and today our point is evolution related with the erp okay now if i ask you the what do you know about the evolution of the computers so yes can you tell me about the evolution of the computers yes anybody from when the evolution in case of the computer started Yes, all of you have got question. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Ha, tell me about the evolution of the computers. all of you understood what i am asking in uh, sir 1930 hmm. computer was evolved firstly yes from 1930 up till the now still there are the lot of uh, changes are happening in case of the uh, computer okay so similarly uh, that kind of evolution also happen in case of the erp system so that is the meaning of the word evolution it is nothing but the uh, step by step development in case of the any case now here we are going to study the step by step development in case of our uh, information system for example the erp system okay now from when actually this started so this started uh, from the period 1960 okay when from the 1960 okay so in the 1960 the people who are working in the industry okay uh, they they felt that they should have the some kind of uh, what we can say the kind of automatic uh, system which will keep the record of their inventories and which will manage their inventories which will control their inventories now what do you mean by the inventory what is the meaning of the word inventory raw material any kind of material now if i ask you, if i ask you the inventory related with the car manufacturing company there is a tire wheels a metals okay fiber components glass these are the raw material understood 
in the similar way if i ask you the inventory is required for the computer manufacturing what can be it in case of the computer manufacturing inventory mother mother motherboard mother motherboard ram ic mouse cables metals etc etc so in the in the 1960 the people working in the different industry they started thinking that they need the kind of automatic system okay they need the kind of automatic system for the purpose of managing the inventories okay got this point and that is the time when that particular time we can think about that was the uh, computer development uh, was in the good position as compared as you said the computer dev computer start from the 1930 so up till the 1960 computer were in the good position okay the kind of uh, if you see the size of the computer during the 1930 and the size of the computer during the 1960 there is a huge difference yes or no yes sir yes sir also kind of functionality that we are getting from the computer in the 1930 and the kind of functionality that we we were getting from the computer in the 1960 there was also a lot of difference memory were increased processing power of the computer were increased etc etc and that is the reason these people from the industry started thinking why should not we go for utilization of the computers for what purpose for the inventory management and the control understood and that is the first stage where there is a Uh, what we can say the automatic system as a computer comes into the business management now for what purpose in case of the inventory management and control there is a utilization of this kind of information system which is uh, by utilizing the computers through the computers so the main objective of inventory management and control is to what is to ensure that the optimum level of stock is maintained in the warehouse what optimum level of stock is maintained in the warehouse means what the main objective of the imc sir manje te stock te je level e te warehouse mate cha stock manje ka yeta available raw material stock manje ka yeta raw material understood yes or no stock means what any kind of material correct yes sir so main aim of the imc i am calling it in short imc stands for the inventory management and control to make sure that optimum level in the sense the what you can say the satisfactory level of the material should be maintained in the warehouse warehouse you can say warehouse as a godown correct warehouse means what sir jitha apan material var store material apan jitha store karto understood so that was the main objective of inventory management and control initially ki using this kind of uh, inventory management and control which which the company were started utilizing with their of the computers so their main aim is what ki utilizing this system we should ensure that ki aplya company cha godown madhe he material available ahe ki nahi kya goshti apan tya system ni check karu shaku kutlya inventory management and the control as a first in, uh, first kind of uh, what we can say uh, first kind of in information system which were started utilizing on the computers okay first kind of modern information system you can call it as understood so first kind of modern information system we are referred as what the inventory management and the control understood so using this imc number of activities we are getting done now what kind of active activities setting the targets identifying the material requirement monitoring the material uses reconciling the inventory balances and the preparing the reports so he ji system hoti kutli inventory management and control as a first uh, modern information system which were started utilizing on the computers tar tyacha main activities kutla perform kele jato hote using that setting the targets ki aplyala for example in this month how much raw material we are going to require that is the setting the targets then identifying the materials ki kutle kutle material aplyala lagnar ahe material requirement monitoring the material uses means what whatever the material you are having whether it is getting used uh, whether it is getting utilized correctly or not reconciling reconciling the inventory balance ki material kiti shillak ahe and the preparing the report for all these things 
that was nothing but the main activities we are perform utilizing the first modern information system which were referred as the inventory management and the control which we are being utilized with the help of the computers understood the first uh, stage in the evolution of the erp yes sir that is what the inventory management and the control which were started in the 1960 and for what purpose it is started how it is being utilized what what kind of activities were get performed because uh, utilizing the info, uh, inventory management and control this all these things we are discuss here and in the this first uh, modern information system only there is a entry of the computer itself as i am saying the modern information system we cannot say the modern information system until there is a utilization of what computers that is the main difference between the traditional information system and the modern information system where we have discussed number of times in case of the traditional information system there was a no utilization of the computer but in the modern information system there was a there is a utilization of the computer okay so this is the first uh, stage in the evolution of the erp or we can say the first stage uh, towards the modern erp system then there comes the second one that is the mrp1 in the 1970 mrp1 stands for the material requirement planning okay second was what material requirement planning understood now after some times after uh, in from the period 1960 to the 1970 the people who are working in the production department they feel that the technique of the imc the techniques of inventory management and control we are not we are not efficient and the sufficient method of ordering of material what they started feeling ki imc ka hai imc is not the sufficient technique or the efficient technique for the ordering of the material means what they started feeling some of the drawbacks of the imc yes or no in the 1970 the people from the production department they feel that it, this system is not efficient and the sufficient for the ordering of materials means what they started finding some kind of drawbacks in the imc yes or no all of you are getting yes sir yes now what uh, what kind of drawback exactly now let me tell you the drawback first okay and then we can say what was the solution they have find out for that now IMC, okay. IMC one main thing related with the IMC is what IMC planning the in case of the IMC planning takes place independently without considering the dependency among the materials. That is the main thing related with the IMC. What in case of the IMC inventory management and control planning or decision being takes place independently. independently in the sense without considering the dependency among the material now what does it mean what does it mean without considering the dependency among the material yes planning takes place independently without considering the dependency among the material which is in the similar way i have written here in using the imc procuring a single material in the isolation it is happening in case of the imc procuring the procuring means what procuring a single material in the isolation means what yes there is same thing i have related here in imc planning takes place independently independently means what now what kind of activity is being happening in the imc in the previous slide we have discussed what kind of activity is getting done using the imc yes
what kind of activity is getting done using the inventory management and control yes all of you are listening me i am simple identifying materials monitoring and you uh, uses balance preparing yes kya yes. gosht yes in imc what is happening so materials to ki kutle material required hai uh, identifying that material ordering that material these things are happening but these things are happening independently that is the main point independently means what without considering the dependency among the material now what exactly it mean let me give you the example suppose there is a computer manufacturing company is there which company computer manufacturing company for example take the example of leno dell etc etc now in order to manufacture the computer what kind of material is requiring that already we have discussed we require the motherboard we require the ram hard disk these are the material required understood now if the company just able to give the order of hard disk at a time only using that hard disk only can the computer can be get built no no other no. materials is also requiring correct yes sir like if you are manufacturing the computer there are the different material using which the computer can be built and so we can say these materials are dependent on each other yes or no Yes sir. yes sir so if the company is ordering the hard disk motherboard they should order the ram other ics etc etc you are getting my meaning yes, yes sir. sir but this kind of facilities yes, this kind of facilities were not available in case of imc you got the drawback yes sir so imc was procuring the single material in the isolation procuring manje kay आइडेंटिफाय कर ऑर्डर कर सो आई आई एम सी वॉज डूइंग वॉट कलेक्टिंग द मटेरियल इन द आइसोलेशन अंडरस्टूड सो वाइल ऑर्डरिंग द रॉ मटेरियल आई एम सी वी आर नॉट कंसिडरिंग द डिपेन्डेंसी अमॉंग द मटेरियल वॉज दैट इज नथिंग बट द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ द आई एम सी यस ऑर ऑल ऑफ यूर एग्री यस सर एंड दैट इज द रीजन देर वॉज अ नीड ऑफ द सेकंड स्टेज दैट इज द मटेरियल रिक्वायरमेंट प्लैनिंग understood and because of the drawback of the imc production planning department fail that it is not the efficient and the sufficient method understood why they failed it is not the efficient and the sufficient method for the ordering material yes got the drawback of the imc yes sir and that is the reason i have mentioned here procuring a single material in the isolation did not serve the purpose of any company of any industry as the planning required as the planning cannot be done independent of each other when the planning is need to be done the dependency has to be consider in case of the manufacturing company if the planning has to do related with the manufacturer of some computer while manufacturing the computer that planning department production planning department has to think which are the materials are dependent on each other and by considering this dependency then only ordering can be given as a whole material requirement order instead of giving the isolated material requirement the production planning department feel that we should give the order as a all the material which is required to produce that computer instead of giving the order of material in the isolation one material first then another material like that so that was not the that was not the what you can say that was a, uh, as a consider as a drawback in case of the inventory management control system as i have written here computer cannot be sold to the customer even if the single part is missing from it is it possible असं कॉम्प्युटर आपण खरेदी करू का एखाद्या कंपनी कडून नो सर वी वॉन्ट दॅट कम्प्युटर शुड हॅव ऑल द पार्ट विल प्रेझेंट इन दॅट अंडरस्टूड 
now so what the what what was the case in case of the material requirement planning they failed we should if you want to produce the computer if you want to produce the car we should give the order of all the material at a time you are getting we should give the order of what all the material at a time instead of giving the order of material one by one now you are getting yes yes sir and this has become possible in case of the material requirement planning where because of utilizing these uh, kind of information system that is the second stage information system it become possible for a company to give the order of all the material at a time instead of giving the order of material in isolation one by one okay and hence for the ordering every part required for the production need to be ordered at a time and this particular aim is satisfied by the second stage of information system and that is nothing but our second information system that is the material requirement planning i have referred it as a mrp1 which were started in the 1960 so using the mrp i have mentioned here through the mrp master production schedule can be built and inventory record provide the information on products that are to be manufactured the material needed for the manufacturing material in the stock material that need to be purchased etc etc तर मटेरियल रिक्वायरमेंट प्लैनिंग मध्य आई एम सी चे फीचर होते एक्स्ट्रा फीचर ऐड के होता तो कुछ बिकॉज ऑफ द यूटिंग द एम आर पी से मटेरियल रिक्वायरमेंट ऑर्डर कैन बी गिवन एट अम टाइम एट अन टाइम सो दैट फीचर दैट फीचर वेर एडेड इन केस ऑफ द एम आर पी फर्स्ट अंडरस्टूड द से स्टेज लेट सी दस्ट दैट इज द थर्ड manufacturing resource planning which year which is which is here being mentioned as a mrp2 and which were started in which period 1980 now name of the third stage in the evolution of erp was manufacturing resource planning now if you think about our previous two evolution stages first was the imc and second was also related with the material requirement that is the material requirement planning in this both the cases which resource management is being getting done using the previous two stages we have discussed kutla resource manage kela jato using that previous two stages of the uh, evolution which resource is getting plan and manage and control you got the question pc and sufficient money and first tell me which are the general resources present in the any company or business first tell me which are the resources general resources available in any industry or the business or the company or the enterprise or any organization yes first tell me the answer of this question which resources are available main material machine sign exactly 4m main material machine and money correct now using the imc and using the mrp1 which resources is getting handled which resources is getting material control? exactly material that is i am expecting material so using the first two stages of the evolution only the material is getting handled mag material ha se ek resources aaye ga company madhe kiwa organization madhe nahi nahi no. other three are also there which are that main money and the machine correct main money and the machine so in the imc and the in mrp1 is there any is there any arrangement of uh, managing these three resources yes yes or no in the imc or in the mrp1 is there any way of managing these resources no no and for that reason the third stage of the information system comes that as the in the in the case of the evolution of erp 
can i call the can i call the erp as a information system word interchangeably can we utilize this this yes or no yes sir yes and this is the third stage in the evolution of the information system or the evolution of the erp that is the manufacturing resource planning now this third stage we are not just for the material this third stage we are handling the main money and the machines also the same thing i have mentioned here though the mrp1 here i should say the mrp1 though the mrp1 serve its purpose very well and the need was failed to get more function in its ambit more function in its ambit manje kay more function in its uh, what we can say in the in the list of its functionality understood the need was failed to get more function in its ambit as it was realized that material was not only the resource important to the organization the importance and the contribution of other resources namely main money machine was recognized and this led to the evolution of mrp2 not just it is required to handle the material resource apart from the material resource it is also very much essential and required to handle the other three resources also which are main money and the machine and to satisfy these need there was a evolution of our mrp2 which stands for the manufacturing resource planning got the point yes sir and this mrp2 mrp2 uses the basic logic regarding the order of material as well as you utilize the information to plan for machine capacity required ata mrp2 madhe patimak cha doni don doni don je aplya the previous two stages functionality is also included or not yes yes so step by step just uh, development is happening okay what was the drawback of the previous that drawback was trying to uh, what you can say that drawback was try to be uh, eradicate in the next stage same thing is happening in the mrp2 ki drop previous to the drawback ha hota ki tyacha madhe main money machine handle kele jat nahuta and in order to handle that the third was developed and same thing i have mentioned the mrp2 uses the basic logic regarding the order of material that is the material management also the machine capacity required the things related with the handling of the machine is also uh, added in the functionality of uh, third stage also handling of the manpower importantly what handling of the manpower is also the handling of the manpower functionality is also added in the mrp2 as well as handling of the money that is the cash flow that is also added in the mrp2 now that is the reason i we can call the mrp2 as a complete information system as compared with the previous two can we call this yes sir yes as further i have mentioned the same thing as the title suggests the mrp2 is the method of planning for the resources of the organization and it include the different things like operational planning sales planning financial planning human resource planning etc etc this everything can be done by utilizing the third stage of our information system or third stage in the evolution of erp that is the manufacturing resource planning and here comes our last stage in the evolution of erp that is nothing but the erp itself the enterprise resource planning system that was the period of 1890 understood now in the previous three what was the drawback that might be get handle using this system can anybody tell me yes now you know the drawback of imc you know the drawback of mrp2 and you know the drawback of imc including the mrp first now what i am asking what was the common drawback of these previous three stages in the evolution of erp that is getting handle big handle using this erp final stage think on this no linking in uh, all exactly 
in the previous three stages we have not used the single word related with the integration of information system yes or no correct yes yes sir and that is the reason comes there was a need of the this system and this system get evaluated that is our final enterprise resource planning system that is the final stage in the evolution of erp so after utilizing the information system in the isolation ata previous the stages madhe tyacha madhe information system use hot nahte ka computer var hot hote information system were getting utilized but that systems were not get that system were not integrated that different functional department who were utilizing the information system that were not link with each other that different business units which are utilizing the information system they were not integrated with each other and that drawback was handled using the final stage that is the enterprise resource planning which were started in the 1980 90 because you must be knowing in the 1980 90 period the there was a huge kind of evolution in case of the networking system also there was a evolution of the internet also all of you are agree yes or no yes, sir and that yes, is sir. the reason it become possible to integrate the information system to link the different 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 departments together and hence after utilizing the information system in the isolation separately the people from the industry felt that there is a need of the integrated information system and that need were satisfied by this modern erp which was started in the 1980 90 so this technology employed permitted the linking of several users of the same organization located across the globe located across the globe manje kay located across the globe manje kay कि जगाचा कुठल्या ही लोकेशन वर जर तुमचे रिसोर्सेस असतील तुमचे मॅन पॉवर असेल तर त्या सगळ्यांना कनेक्ट करणे पॉसिबल झालं कशामुळे बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फायनल स्टेज ऑफ द इआरपी गॉट द पॉइंट येस सर सर अँड दिस हॅज बिकम पॉसिबल बिकॉज ऑफ द युटिलायझेशन ऑफ द इंटरनेट इंट्रानेट लॅन वॅन एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा अँड ऑल्सो द पॉइंट येस्टडे वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस इन द कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ इआरपी the new client server technology also lead to the birth of erp so main main component in case of this erp is nothing but this client server technology i hope all of you are agree yes or no yes yes and so the we can we can say here erp includes all the capabilities of not just the mrp1 mrp2 but the er final erp include the capabilities of imc mrp1 here i should say mrp1 here capability of mrp2 and it is nothing but the natural extension for all these things so natural extension for all imc mrp1 mrp2 is nothing but our final erp systems okay now some other points also i have mentioned here the erp provide the enterprise wide tools for planning forecasting scheduling all the things can be done utilizing the uh, erp planning can be done forecasting in the sense what can happen in the future andaz laune okay planning karne that can be also done scheduling can also be done scheduling of the manpower scheduling of the machine etc etc all the things come there erp provide the guidelines for process of various decision making as you know the main role of the information system and one of the good example of information is the erp so the main functionality that is the decision function can be done easily erp coordinated the total working of all function of the enterprises and ensure that the company function as a one cohesive unit but not the isolated units so if erp get utilized all the business units can get link with each other all the functional departments can link with each other and to that we can consider the system is working as a single unit as a one cohesive unit not working in the isolated manner so erp improve the overall functionality of the organization as well as the productivity customer service get improvement customer quality of product get improvement material management get improvement inventory management get improve etc etc and an effective and the efficient erp system help the reducing the production cost which enable the company to be more competitive in the 
in more competitive and more advantages in this competitive market so because of the erp production cost can also be get reduced this now this also we have discussed number of times in the benefit or in the advantages of the information system so this is the point an effective and the efficient erp can help the any business for reducing the production cost and be, if the production cost get in uh, decrease definitely the profit of the company can increase and the share of that company in the market can also get uh, good value and last point in case of these not like the mrp2 that is the main thing you should uh, understand here not like the mrp2 which was runs once or twice in the month okay this was the also another drawback related with our uh, previous three uh, uh, information system that is the imc mrp1 and the mrp2 can anybody can anybody tell me this unlike the mrp2 mrp1 or imc which was run once or twice in the month due to the lack of speed of the part of the mainframe computers where the erp could be run number of times or erp modern erp can be run frequently as required can anybody tell me the meaning of this yes Sixty in the period of sixties and the seventies. Ha, huh, yes, yes. Carry on. Yes. For just those stages, say that that's a speed come here as compared to ERP system. Ka, kasha mula sir. they are run uh, they run once or twice in month ha and uh, once or twice run karla the karan speed kami asle mule aplyala to result lavkar milat nahuta na you are getting yes sir why this was so because if you consider the speed of the computer which were present in the 1670 period and the speed of the computer which is present in the 1990 or 2000 period which computer were having the higher speed or the higher processing power Yes. Definitely, the computer which were present in the nineteen ninety or two thousand period. All of you are agree. Yes, sir. And that is the reason. That is also another advantage of the ERP. You can run.